program began as I was commissioned to write a piece of music by the Entrada Institute as part of their Artist in Residence program. The Entrada Institute has as their major objective the highlighting of the beauties of the Colorado Plateau, including the geographical beauties as well as the cultural beauties, which include Native American culture and ancient American culture. I started by writing one piece of music and then got carried away and found out that before too long I had a whole album's worth. In explaining and playing some of this music for dance faculty here on campus, uh, one of the faculty members suggested that it would be wonderful to choreograph. Martin had been working on it for uh, over a year and um, probably a year before we actually did any of the filming he had talked to faculty members to gauge interest to see who would want to participate and finally at the end of the the school year he came back and said okay you said you were interested and we're doing it and so it was like great you know that it, so I didn't have um, much opportunity to be anxious about it, to be worried about what I was going to do or how I was going to participate. It was like, it's happening and we're ready to go. We sat down and threw out lots of ideas. We brought in um, Will McKinnon um, from campus and um, our ideas just went all over the place. Overall, the project has just been a whole lot of fun, uh, working with the different choreographers and the dancers, um, and everyone has put in so much time and effort to make this happen. It's really been a labor of love for many people. Um, I think many of us did it just because we, we love Martin so much and he's such a good guy. It's just been something that's been a neat project and people got involved and and kind of sacrificed a little bit to make it all come together. This was a really exciting project because as we're experimenting with the dancers in the studios and trying new things, the possibilities opened up tremendously knowing that we could have cameras um, on top of the dancers, cameras following the dancers, uh, cameras in between the dancers. So choreographically suddenly instead of one or two choices there's 20 or 30 which has definitely more of a challenge but it also allowed myself and the dancers to fine-tune what our intention was so that it came across clearly on the camera. It usually takes about 10 hours of rehearsal for a minute of choreography and we didn't have that. The dancers are great at working from an improvisational structure. Like I would, I said to them, find four shapes, five shapes from the petroglyphs that, uh, that somehow speak to you and find, a, find an order for them, transitioning one, two, three, four, five, then see if we can find the, the, how it might develop and teach it to a partner and find a way to change level. So when you work in that way, you can start to work fast because you have not only uh, the structure and the idea and the images that I'm starting with, but then they add theirs to it and it becomes a really rich co-creative process with the dancers. When we went into the stage to film it, I got to then play with the amazing crew and Will and uh, manipulate the movement, play with the camera, play with how we decided to edit it. Um, so I, I took on a real playful way of deciding how to work with letting the lens tell the story, letting the lens guide the audience to how it was going to work and figuring things out. So it was an opportunity for me to try something new, to try something different than I've, that I normally choreograph with, that I normally get to do as a choreographer. Doing these types of projects for us in studios and broadcast services is a little bit more on the creative end of things. In this case, you know, one of the uh, pieces involved bringing in sand, and maybe the first and the last time that the Reagan Theater has the floor covered with sand. Uh, but it was sure a whole lot of fun to, to do that and imagine it and plan it. I thought it was really awesome to fill the entire Reagan Theater with sand. Uh, dancing in the sand on a stage was uh, it, was, it was interesting, it was an interesting texture. We, we slipped a lot, we fell a lot, we couldn't spin. That was, it was interesting like rolling around in the sand, but um, it, I don't know, it kind of created a, a new environment because typically as a dancer, you're always performing on stage. And it, just the different environment that we were placed into was, uh, was, was very fun. It was a great opportunity for me as a dancer to get, in, get involved with the project because it was, it was not just your typical like, oh, you're going to be dancing on stage. It was a, a new experience that I knew I had to do. Coming into the studio and getting 
know, hung in a harness and floating around and, you know, being put on stirrups so you could, you know, appear to be floating in midair and, and the use of the green screen. Uh, those have been kind of some of the new experiences that were interesting <laughs> and fun at the same time. The experience has definitely paid off my expectations because I had no idea what was going to happen and so I didn't really have too high of an expectation. I was just like, it's going to happen and, you know, I'm just going to make the best of it. And it's been so great. It's so much more dynamic than just being on stage. Like I got to be on a harness. I worked with green screen. I danced in sand. Like I did so much that I can't even imagine doing on stage. And so I think that expectation was definitely satisfied. One of the, the delights of working on this project was dealing with uh, uh, cameras that would move, that didn't have to worry about obstructing an audience. It was done in more of a studio setting, and uh, that gave us lots of possibilities for the cameras shooting things at different angles. Also, the lighting that was available gave some wonderful textures and uh, color values that uh, were even better than I expected. Martin's music really directed the action of the choreography, and by extension, the camera operators got a sense of the rise of the action and the movement, and they were able to perhaps pull back on the camera shots to get a wide view of the duet. They were able to shift to show the choreography from up top so that we could see the pathways of the dancers moving through space. And I feel like the music really was our, our landscape, it was really where we took our direction in creating this piece. It's just really fun to work with people. Um, they're very excited, the camera people are excited to work with dancers because they haven't seen that before. Um, dancers are excited to work with camera people because we're not aware of what your activities are. And so that was a lot of fun sharing. They did do a little bit of dancing that we wanted to video today. <laughs> so, you know, the, after watching it for eight hours, you get a sense of what it is too. And so they were, they were joking around. That was a lot of fun. So the process itself is, it can be tiring. It, it can, you know, you, you have to maintain your energy, your performance energy, but it's also a lot of fun. We wanted to make sure that uh, each piece spoke individually and uh, was separate and different, distinct from each other piece. And I think the choreographers were able to accomplish that, both in costuming and in the basic concept of their dance and in the style of their dance. We actually have several styles that uh, aren't all from the same bag. So we weren't stuck with just what a person would call modern dance or just with uh, dances that are influenced by other uh, cultural movements in the country. There was an interesting combination of all of those. I would like to tell Martin thank you for involving us on this project. Um, he really, as I said before, is kind of the visionary behind all of this. He's the one that brought everyone together um, and it has been uh, a lot of fun to produce and I'm, I hope it will be something that the dancers and uh, the community will be able to appreciate for many years to come. <laughs>